Good morning, Squirrel users. Um, my name is Breck, and today I just want to cover some new tools for debugging Scroll. Oops. Um, so if we go to the try now, we're going to talk about two new parsers, one new today and one new about a week ago. Um, and they are, well, the first, first is kind of is fun. It's called the um, inspect parsers. So we can do inspect below and we can say inspect the, the next three parse particles. We can inspect the next five. So, um, and what that does is that will generate um, a nice HTML and CSS visualization of um, your PPS program parsed. Uh, so here we have, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five particles. And so we're, we are inspecting those five. So the first one is just the blank line parser. Okay, so there's no, there's no content in this one. It's just a blank line, pretty, pretty straightforward. The next one is a title parser. So let's just shorten this so it fits on the screen. Scroll, okay. And um, so uh, really this should be a string atom. So so that's that's something I could do. B basically a title takes a string. Right now it's an any atom, but I feel like I wanna make that a string atom just for clarity. Um, meta command atom. Eh, that's not the best name. Maybe we could call that a I don't know. Anyway, anyway, so clearly this this is telling me that I need to refine some of the terminology um, in terms of atom types in scroll. But but basically, what so what we have here is again, you know, everything in scroll is a particle. Uh, every line is a particle, and then the the lines are split into words. So you can see that you can see each blue box is a particle. Now, what about subparticles? Well, we can add comments. Um, and we see that um, this um, this line is a subparticle of um, of this particle, so it's kind of it's inside that box, and we can see how each word gets split, each atom gets split by the space. Um, and so yeah, we've got a print title parser, we've got a blank line parser again, and then we have the scroll theme parser. Um, so yeah, this this works with anything, every any and all um, scroll parsers. We can do a checklist, hello world, and you can see, you can see nesting. So um, get rid of, and so um, again, so the, the ordering is, uh, is, is particles. So basically if I do um, three, it's not going, so it's going to print, print this particle, this particle, and then this particle, right? Now, of course, when you print this particle, it's going to print all its subparticles as well. So we're actually looking here at one, you know, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five particles being printed. But that's just because inspect below, when you say three, it's, it's, it's talking about this level of, of uh, nesting. So that's just one thing to, to note. Um, so it actually kind of gives you more than what, what you might expect. So it's going to give you, it's going to inspect the subparticles for every particle. Um, yeah, and you can see how, how this, this parse parses. And of course, it should work for everything. Let's just create a new um, file. Let's just do something crazy. Inspect 30 particles at once. That's pretty snappy. Um, and yeah, you can kind of see how it, how it, it handles everything. So, so that's a really useful um, tool if you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Check out the inspect tool, and you can also, if you want to do it, you can do it from from um, above. You don't have to do it from from below. So, or you can inspect the above particles as well. So that's that's number one. And then the second one is um, is the dependency keyword, the dependency parser. So what this does is this file depends on now. Um, this will generate a um, a list of uh, a table of um, dependencies. Now, this file doesn't currently depend on anything, right? So, let's uh, let's throw in a screenshot. Okay, so now and look, here we have our table. Let's let's make it this look a little bit nicer. Um, so here we go. We can see screenshot 
if we include a CSS file like our style sheet, you'll see that pop up in the dependency. Um, and of course, if we included a scroll file, now this one is a little tricky because there's still a, um, a difference between scroll in the browser and scroll on your file system. If we ran dependencies on the file system, this would pop up in here. Um, but it currently doesn't because we don't really support imports yet in the, in the browser, but we will soon and, and I just got to finish that work um, and then that's going to be so great when we have fully isomorphic scroll. That'd be great. You can just include scroll with a single JavaScript tag and get the extendability and the parsers and all that. It's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> I wish I wish we had I wish there's more time in the day I wish we had more hands um, but we're getting there slowly and surely anyway so the dependencies keyword will get you a table of all of the dependencies it's very useful if you're debugging import scripts um, and you're trying to figure out and you know and, and down the line we're going to use it for improving build times of scroll because now we have easy access to um, the dependencies a file has and we could from that information we could more selectively build if something's dependencies didn't change well then we don't need to rebuild the file so we can make we can speed up build times quite a, quite a bit so um that's that um yeah check out those two new words dependencies and inspect above inspect below and have a great day cheers